Hey guys, Mark here. Well, we're here at Dearden Motorcycles here in Southampton, and today really pleased to be bringing you the all new BSA Gold Star review. Stay tuned, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well hi there guys, Mark here and welcome today to the eagerly awaited BSA Gold Star. It's finally arrived here in the UK and uh, pleased today to have one to review for you all. So we'll just um, have a walk round, run through all the specs in the usual way and then we'll go for a test ride and then do a final thoughts at the end. And many thanks to Dearden Motorcycles here in the south of England for lending me this bike today. So we'll start off with the price. These come in at £6,500 for the green model. You're then looking at £6,800 for the, the red, the silver or the black. And then it goes up to £7,000 for the silver Legacy Edition. And this is A2 compatible and uh, what a fantastic bike to own if you are a newcomer to, to biking on an A2 licence engine on this is absolutely fabulous it's a 652 cc liquid cooled single cylinder double overhead cam four valve engine and it's got twin spark plugs and it's got a dry sump on this so claimed horsepower is 45 horsepower at 6500 rpm it's a very very low state of tune which means it's got lots and lots of torque from low rpm more of that later on torque is 55 newton meters at a super low 4000 rpm it's got a five-speed gearbox very smooth shifting no problems there at all tyres we've got Pirelli Phantoms, got a 100 section on the front and a 150 section on the rear, 18 inch front wheel, 17 inch rear wheel. It's got a 12 litre fuel tank, quite a small tank but these are very economical, BSA are quoting around about 70 miles per gallon UK so that should give you over 150 mile range. So the nice thing about this bike, it's got a very low seat, it's nicely padded, it's very comfortable. Um, just look at me on the bike uh, as a reference for yourself. I can get my feet flat down to the floor very easily with knees bent. I'm five foot seven tall, 170 centimeters, and I weigh about 75 kilos. Just, just have a look, see how I fit it so you can compare that for yourself. Weight on these, 213 kilograms wet. So these are made in India by Mahindra, very, very popular manufacturer. And the en engines by Rotax, I believe as well. So it, it's a well-established company. It, it looks well-made to me and I'd have no, uh, no qualms about its reliability. So in the 1950s, uh, one in four bikes apparently were BSAs, so that's a little interesting fact for you. The, uh, the clocks, quite a nice little detail, they sort of start at like one o'clock, so that's a nice little touch, sort of mimicking the uh, bygone era. Got 41mm telescopic forks, non-adjustable, 
We've got twin rear shocks here and they are preload adjustable. Single disc on the front, single disc on the rear. There's a 320 mil disc on the front and a 255 disc on the rear there. And uh, you've got a twin piston caliper, uh, good strong braking by Brembo up the front here. And on the rear, Brembo again, single piston caliper. So as you look around the bike, it's got lots of sort of nice old school detailing. You know, the little uh, Union Jack here. As I said about the clocks, the little emblems everywhere. The engine, it's all nicely detailed, so that's a nice touch. Top speed on this is a claimed 103 miles an hour. So, I say it's not a speed machine, it's just about cruising around on, enjoying that wonderful, torquey, sort of thumping engine beneath you. These come with a two year warranty, so that's good. Okay, guys, let's do the test ride. Okay, what a beauty. BSA, Gold Star. Let's try this out. So very easy to swing a leg over because it's a nice low seat. I'm not that tall, five foot seven, and I can get my feet down really easily. Off the side stand, a sort of a moderate amount of pull to get it off, but once you're on the bike, it doesn't feel too heavy at all. So just run through all the controls here. Headlight flasher, high and low beam, indicators, horn, info button, which just changes it from your trip meter to your odometer. Um, has, um, sorry, uh, hazards, start and engine kill, all nice and simple. Um, Non-adjustable for span uh, brake and clutch levers. I forgot to say earlier, you've got a um, USB and a micro USB in there. There's also a 12 volt cigarette socket just down below as well. So that's all good. Turn the key, and that looks lovely. I love the fact that the uh, um, speedo and the rev counters sort of uh, start at sort of about one o'clock. Anyway, let's fire up. So straight away. It's got a great sound to it. And I know it's Euro 5, but it's still got a superb soundtrack to it. Alrighty, let's go. Nice, smooth, light clutch with a lovely early take. And we're currently here in the New Forest in the south of England. Cool. So straight away, the first thing you notice is the engine may only have 45 horsepower but it's got a load of torque from the low end from sort of two, 2000 onwards it really does pull strongly and that's what this bike's all about oh, what a glorious engine that's the first thing you notice when you pull away it sounds lovely and sort of between two and sort of five. Oh, doesn't it pull well? Very nice. So we're in the new forest now, so we're just gonna have a little little chill ride for a bit, little cruise. Just start off with the, uh, the mirrors, all very in keeping with the bike. Very clear. There's no real vibration there as such. That's good. And I can see a little tiny bit of my elbows, but that's it, so good, good mirrors. So straight into some bends. Got cold day here today, sort of wet cold roads, but the Pirelli Phantom tires feel good. Suspension initially feels well damped. Slightly sporty though I say. It's pretty good around these bends. You can really hustle it round. Absolutely love the uh the, the needles on the analogue dials, how they've done that, they kept it sort of in, in keeping with the old. So I can see my speed, revs, fuel gauge, trip meter, all very easily. And you've got some sort of warning lights up in that little area up there. More bends to play on. Yeah, this is nice around the bends. Very good. And open it up. Oh, doesn't it drive from, from low RPM? Very impressive. It's got a lot more, sort of from the low RPMs, it's got quite a bit more pull than the Interceptor 650. The Interceptor, 6, Interceptor 650 wants to rev a bit more being a parallel twin but this is all about grunt because it's a 650 single. So 
So this bike is all about doing this sort of riding that I'm doing now, out in lovely countryside with beautiful views, just cruising. You know, it will hustle if you need it to. We'll go on a motorway shortly, top speed of about 100 miles an hour. But this is where this bike really excels in my opinion. So riding position, very, very upright, very comfortable. I uh, love the bars, they are raked back quite a bit here, you can see that there. It's a superb, comfortable riding position. You could, you could definitely ride this all day long. Uh, I've been on this bike for about half an hour before I started the review, and the seat is very, very comfortable. No problems at all there. Leg, leg position pretty much straight down, so all in all, a brilliant, lovely, comfortable riding position. But for me so far, the standout feature on this bike is just this characterful engine that's just throbbing away. There's no nasty vibrations at all that are kind of make, gonna make you tingle or buzz. It's just a nice thump and a throb. So uh, absolutely five stars in the engine. All right, we'll just try the brakes out. Front and rear together, nothing behind. ABS, cool, yeah, they are very strong. So single disc up front, but boy, don't they work well. So first gear, just opening it up. Whoa, this thing goes when you open it up. So overall, overall ride quality from the suspension. Feels slightly firm, shall we say, but not in a bad way. Makes it feel slightly sporty and doesn't, doesn't wallow around the bends, but a very nice compliant ride. You know, you, you don't want this thing to be too harsh and jarring over bumps. It's a very smooth ride. It may only have twin shocks at the back rather than a mono shock, but it, it does really does feel nice at the back end there. Not, not sort of getting any uh, crashing over bumps. And on braking, there's a, only a small amount of dive there on the front fork, so that's all totally acceptable. But we're just coming to a little sleepy village called Bewley. Just gonna check how this thing fuels at low revs. I'm currently in second gear, just doing 20 miles an hour. Just checking for any nasties in the fueling. Any surging or anything like that, that's nice. It's a big old 650 single booming away, but it's all very acceptable. It's very smooth. Off the throttle to on. If I'm being absolutely hypercritical, off to on is slightly, slightly snatchy, but honestly, I'm really nitpicking long as you just move your move your wrist back slowly it's not a problem at all but general fueling is impeccable into third gear now just over 2000 revs again smooth as silk you can just feel that lovely big single booming away beneath you so op opening it up yeah I mean there's plenty of pick up there you know this thing really does excel low rpm say so maximum torque is at 4000 rpm so you don't really need to rev it past there really to make good progress so there we are guys look third gear 30 mile an hour just under 3000 revs absolutely sweet so um five stars for the gold star through town and slow speed running they've done a superb job i mean this is a big old single cylinder here and um it's very very smooth and um user friendly so that's great stuff we're out, out on the open road a bit now guys we're in third gear just opening it up oh doesn't it pull beautifully and strong so effortless very very easily up to 60 miles an hour and all very smooth at these revs we're in top gear now just winding it open oh yeah it pulls beautifully it's just coming on to a dual carriageway guys Fourth gear, opening it up. Oh, doesn't it pull beautifully? No need to rev it more than about 5,000. So very easily up to an indicated 70 miles an hour. Wind, bar, wind blast is totally acceptable. It's not turbulent. Bike feels very, very stable. It would sit at, sit at this sort of speed all day long. We're turning over a very relaxing, just under four and a half thousand RPM. 
no nasty vibrations whatsoever from the engine it's just a nice sort of throb and a sort of a hum from down below just slow it down a bit to sort of 50 and we're just wide open throttle now so there's your 60 and coming up for your 70 so this will go on to about 100 miles an hour so very good at the higher speed guys no issues at all stable nice and relaxing at the higher speeds doesn't feel like it's over revving at all it's a, a beautiful engine so uh, top marks for the uh, gold star at the higher speeds all right guys let's go and uh, wrap this up over here have a final walk around what a glorious bike so just see what it's like into first and then into neutral first neutral all very easy give you some of that glorious soundtrack again beautiful excellent nice decent size stand easy to find that's good righty ho let's have a walk around So what a fabulous comeback for BSA, it's been a long wait but it's definitely been worth it, that is superb, it looks brilliant, really does look the part with all the little detailed touches, the engine is a belter, it's got tons of torque from low RPM, two, three, four thousand revs, it's just all you need, it's fantastic, it's very smooth for a big single, the, uh, the ride quality, the suspension's nice, tyres do a good job, single disc on the front there by Brembo is very strong um, it feels well put together it's a quality ride I've um, been on this bike for well over an hour today and uh, no problems at all with number so it's a nice comfortable seat rear shocks at the back are absolutely fine so off the side stand a moderate amount of effort to push it off and it is not too bad at all to push around you know, it's a 213 kilo bike but not too bad at all it's quite low so uh, it's all good in that respect looking around the bike all the sort of all the welds on the frame look very nice just got that glorious soundtrack isn't it so guys what's your thoughts on the new BSA gold star They've done a good job and it looks very well made and it rides like a dream. Okay guys, if you please could post some comments down below, I'd always like to read them. Don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe to my channel and I will bring you another review in a week or so on another bike. Take care guys, ride safe, keep warm, all the best and bye for now.